This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to this week's Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony and now I'm reviewing uh, Rubik's 3D Advertising by Henry Evans and Martin Brasis. I hope I pronounced the name correctly there. So this is not the first version of 3D advertising. There has been one with a deck of cards that came out before this. And now this is the Rubik's Cube edition. And I just wanted to give you my honest thoughts on the product. But first, let's have a look at the price. It's £43.48 going off my website. Uh, hence, when I look over there, I'm looking at the, the screen, as you can tell. So that is the price of the product itself. Now, let's go into a little trailer. Then I will show it you myself and then give you my own honest thoughts on it. So here we go. It's starting up here. So uh, if I look away from the camera, I'm just looking there to see exactly what's going on in that. Let's make it full screen. So here we go. Okay, you don't get that little plastic thing for holding, uh, displaying your Rubik's Cube with the box. So you actually get a Rubik's Cube, but not, I don't think, an official Rubik's Cube. So it does look like that when you get it right. Uh, from 2D to 3D without any covers. Um, yeah. Although you have to be careful of your angles, it is capable of doing that. And da 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 da. Yep, that is achievable. And nice reactions, nice shots. And definitely not set up there in any way whatsoever. <laughs> and then you can, of course, go into your favourite uh, routine. So, uh, where do I start with this product? Um, let's start by showing you this is what you receive. So you actually get a special cardboard uh, sort of advertising manual for the Rubik's Cube. So Rubik's Catalogue. And then after that, you can display the various different Rubik's Cubes on it. And then, if you wish, you can make one come right out of the, the menu, should I say, the catalogue. So that is what this trick is. It's that quick. It's a quick intro to your magic. And um, it's extremely visual. So that's something we cannot take away from this product. It is super crazy visual. And for your Instagrams and all this side of things, it is going to knock people's socks off um, for a 10 or 15 second clip or for a show that you have a very controlled environment. And when I mean controlled, it means that you are very, very limited by your angles. And uh, by that, I mean from here, you literally can't go more than ever so slightly out here. I would only perform this to people if there's two or three people right in front of me and nobody else around. I mean, if there's anyone even slightly at that sort of an angle here, I'm not sure if you can tell that from where I'm sat here, but like that sort of an angle, uh, so that's straight ahead and just going to there, that's my limit. So I really, really am restricted to this tiny little portion uh, of Pi and that is where the downside comes. So for me, this is fantastic for social media. Uh, I've used it on my own social media, it looks brilliant. But in terms of a parlor piece or stage show, I would have to be very, very careful and very sure of my angles before I would perform this um, effect. Now, I think with the deck of cards version, it's probably a lot better because cards are easier to hide and not as thick or bulky as a Rubik's Cube. So um, that's where I get. It's a brilliant effect in terms of visuals. However, it for me, just because of the thickness of the Rubik's Cube, it's brought so many limitations to it. Now, also the weight of the Rubik's Cubes and the way it's made has been made very cleverly, of course, on a very, very thick piece of card that they say will last forever. Now, this uh, very thick piece of card uh, allows you to hold the Rubik's Cube in the way that it needs to be held. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and there's no flaps here, nothing like that. So this now, the nice part is that it can be completely examined. Um, that is just a menu. However, uh, first thing I would say is if I were to receive a Rubik's Cube and I were to hand this out, um, it's pretty obvious it's not an official or an original Rubik's Cube menu because it's poorly folded. So this exact one here is all on weird angles. Like It's like one of the folds has been put on on a slight angle. And uh, because of that, it 
the sides are kind of overlapping here by the, over the edge. They're overlapping at this side. I think you can even see that on camera, that, that there, can't you? So um, it's just doesn't feel right because of it and because of that I wouldn't want to give this out to somebody they're obviously unless they're I mean maybe I'm overthinking it as a magician but no not really I've never seen a Rubik's catalogue before they certainly wouldn't ship one as thick as this with a Rubik's so why hand out something that is obviously not real so they would kind of know there's a trick in it maybe I'm wrong let me know what you think in your comments down below but it needs to be this thick for the actual effect itself. So that was my first gripe, is that things are not quite matched up. You can see there as well on that edge. Um, however, it does what it says on the tin. You can produce it. Now, the only downside, again, is I find that this bottom one, because of the thickness of these uh, things and the way that the it has to hold something, that's all I'm going to say, uh, because of that, the bottom one is always kind of on an angle this way. Which means now that you're not just limited to angles there and angles there. You're now limited to angles here. And that is what really got me. I found it, it would not stay flat. I would have to actually physically kind of do that with my hand, which looks a bit unnatural, bring the whole thing forward. And then on top of that, I was still worried that people would see certain things because... When you, yeah, I'm not going to say any more than that. I can't say any more than that. Um, so basically on the camera, I had to be quite careful of the angles and the way I do things. Uh, so again, if you're doing this to an audience and there's kids sat on the floor, again, you, you're you not going to get away with it. You need, you'd have to get down on the floor with them uh, to the same level because nobody really, eye level, can be higher than this point here. Uh, if there's anyone slightly lower, the game has been given away, I think. So... It's a good effect, but it's got its limitations because of the size of the cube, I feel. And um, would I perform this? Yes, I'd do it on my social media. Uh, wouldn't, I'd maybe do it in some very controlled situations, maybe for television. But that's one thing that really gripes me about all these tricks. Um, television rights not included with purchase. Now, if I buy something that's going to cost £43... And I'm told that I can't do this on TV, not that I'm ever going to be on TV. Um, but if, well, I'm on TV now, but if I can't do this on proper television for £43, then I'm a little bit peeved. Um, so that, that's just me, again, getting, having a little bit of a rant there. But I hate it when pe uh, companies say that. Um, it makes you feel like, how do I say? No, I'm not going to say any more than that. That's it. That's it. Okay. So... Here we go. It is. Uh, it comes with the routines and the instructions here, and it comes with an additional piece like this. I'm not going to tell you what that's for. Um, and the last part I'm going to say about this, well, it comes with a 20-minute tutorial and video. Now, this 20-minute tutorial uh, goes through things very, very in-depth, and it goes through if you're sat down or if you stood up. Um, and it goes through the handling of the card and the ways of producing the, the, the cube. So absolutely no problems with that whatsoever. Um, I have noticed, and I'm not going to show you the gimmick, of course, because that will give things away. But I've noticed that when I say magnets are involved and the way the gimmick's been made, um, the edges of the edges of the gimmick are coming away. And I feel like that this might not last as long as they're claiming it would. They're saying this will last a long time, but the actual gimmick that works with this, um, the edges are coming away displaying magnets, and I don't really wish it to be doing that on a product that I've only just got. I kind of wish it was sealed around the edges, like heat sealed or whatever it would be, so that it cannot come out, the magnets cannot move, cannot get disjointed or move out of place. Um, so that was another little gripe that I had with it. And the third gripe I had with it, I'm sorry, it feels like I'm absolutely slating this product and I'm not. I really am not because I do feel that it's a great trick in the right circumstances. But I would also not want to go in to do a show with this or perform with this one afterwards because frankly it's not a very good cube. Um, if I'm going to start doing magic with this cube, which is what it, the whole reason to this is that you do a trick and then you start doing some magic with it. Um, it's not 
the nicest of cubes. It's certainly not like a speed cube. It doesn't feel like a speed cube. If it is a speed cube, it's not a very good one. So uh, again, for those reasons, I am kind of out for using this product for parlor and stage, but I'm definitely in for using this product uh, in social media. So I hope I've gone in, in enough depth here for the trick. Uh, the good thing is no flaps. It is self-contained. It can be there ready behind your table, ready to pull out and to perform, but you do just have to be very careful of your angles, both there and there, and when you turn it this way, there, there, and there. So at all times, you're having to be quite careful. But all in all, it does the trick, and I think I've waffled on enough about this product now. Um, it really is hard to, it's hard to get excited, I'm finding lately, with Rubik's Cube magic. And again, maybe that's just me, because there's so much Rubik's Cube magic coming out. And I think I did a review recently on one, which I absolutely loved by Henry, um, and that was gorgeous. Um, but it just, it, there's too many out there. There's too many out there. and. For me to actually use this, I would want to be able to use the cube straight after in another effect. And I think there's probably uh, other effects I would choose maybe above this product myself. So do let me know if you've got this product, what you think of it. And uh, if you've got the previous version, which is the deck of cards version, let me know your thoughts on that as well. Um, apart from that, I want to leave you, before I do, I want to tell you about a very special auction that we are holding this week, but let's give this product a rating out of 10 first. Rating out of 10 is simply six out of 10. So I'm giving you six out of 10, mainly knocked it down a little bit because of the price, because of the angles, and the few little bits that where I feel it could be made a little bit better, um, and everything else I've kind of said. So there we go, six out of 10 for Rubik's 3D Advertising. Advertising. Uh, so yeah, let's end the show with finally we're doing um, we're doing a live auction, and you can join us on this live auction. So uh, it's going to be in two days' time from well, sorry, maybe even one day from this video. It's going to be on the seventh of October. If you're in the UK, um, if you're worldwide, hey, you can still join us, uh, but it might be more difficult and more expensive to ship the items. But we are doing an auction where you can. Uh, bid through various different tricks. If you ever been to Blackpool Convention, they always have mega auctions. And that's kind of what we're going to start. But we're going to do it over maybe one or two or three or different auctions. But also there's a contest as well. And you can join in the contest even if you can't join in the auction. So you go to the link down below. It's magicworld.co.uk forward slash contest. Uh, enter your details there. You'll be logged in and you'll be let known of the uh, address that you've got to go to to join us for the auction. It's 7 p.m. this Thursday and we have tons of amazing tricks at amazing prices where you can bid for them there live and we'll tick you off the sheet and send the PayPal request and you'll get hopefully your hands on some really great magic at some fantastic prices. So if you've got any questions about that, let us know. This Thursday, 7 p.m., it's all down in the show more section down below and I look forward to seeing you in next week's Magic World Review. But before you go, please do click subscribe, click alert. That just keeps this channel going and I look forward to seeing you soon. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.